Hello. Welcome back again. Okay, so. Continuing right the hell on here. Um, this guy was about to do this sort of thing. Do, you know, all the whole healy dealy. Alright, I'm gonna run in fast forward for a little bit because I want to finish up this one and do the next one. Alright, we'll continue beating Gamp with a shield. I mean, Gamp really can't do anything here, so. There's that. Also, you are gonna be prevented from going any farther. Yeah, there we go. I mean, Gamp is slowly gonna win that fight, but I'm hoping I get some support to him before then. And there we go. Let's... yeah, there we go. Get the Aegis over on him. Aegis. Aegis? Aegis? Whatever. That one. And all you folks fortificated. No fortificating on the volcano! There we go. Um, <laughs> and since I don't have to worry about recruiting this guy later, I'll just go ahead and do this sort of thing. Have Voltaire finish him off. And there we are. Done deal. Alright, what's the last one he's gonna do? Because I want to see what all of the hit all moves are. So he's probably gonna strengthen himself, yeah. And I assume, like, reduce defense? Yep, breach. Good. Okay. Mass breach, but we just fortified. Hmm. Unfortunate timing, I suppose. Alright, um... Go for that guy. I'll go for that guy. Okay. Hmm. There's really no point in going after the mooks at this point, at least not until end game. So we'll do that. It's actually kind of a funny little thing. So uh, was asked a few times, like if if I'm loving uh, OV so much, why the hell do I keep going back and going through the, the original and all that all the time? Basically. I'm always hoping to figure out the friggin' mentality that was going on when they were making it, because there's a lot of stuff that just never made sense to me. By the way, these guys are just collecting cards for the hell of it, they really aren't getting anything out of it. Since they don't get any stats from them, at least not with the way that I'm playing, currently in OV you do actually get much better stats from using those things. Uh, I just prefer not to have that option. Anyway, so point being, I keep trying to understand like what was going through the developers' minds when they were doing different parts of the game and all that. And specifically, I, I guess it was kind of a neat little thing that uh, that kept coming up uh, when it came to the split between uh, early game and end game, really. In that, really, the only reason early game enemies don't seem to go and drop a lot of their or they don't seem to drop anything good, it kind of just seems to be for the sake. Oh. But it says I can does it. Really kind of just makes me think that it's strictly for the sake of, well, your chaos frame. That you don't end up going for that earlier on. You don't end up going for, you know, kills on random enemies and whatever. By Lettuce? No. Uh, why don't I go ahead and pokeificate this guy? Whatever. You can still Aegis Spencer. That should keep him alive for a while. But yeah, so... Uh, so yeah, I guess Chaos Frame was kind of the, the logic there. Could be wrong on that, but I feel like that's kind of why uh, you only end up seeing all the grindy stuff come up later. And yeah, as far as why they ended up hiding them in such a weird way, uh, I don't really know. Still hoping to find out why exactly somebody thought that it was the best way to hide endgame stuff. Like, go take enemies that aren't even wielding those things, and... You know, presumably it's for the sake of getting around the level cap, although... You know, that's not actually a, a thing that ends up happening anyway, because there's sometimes when people show up well outside of their uh, levels with the stuff that they end up having. So, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm hoping to understand that someday. Yeah. Base game... Iron Man Run is still slowly chugging along. I just started going through POTD and stuff like that. It's a slow burn, I'll say that much. But did get a few of the unique items, despite only going through it once. That's kind of the annoying thing. You end up having to go through the thing over and over and over and over and over if you want some of the stuff. 
But luckily he got lucky with some of the drops, and frankly, Canopus with a friggin' siege bow has been more than enough to level anything up to that point anyway. Limited it to one guy, so... There's that. <laughs> Comically overpowered Canopus. Actually, he already had Fortify. There was no point in doing that. Erp. No, Spencer! Well, screwed that up. Uh, I suppose we should go get him out of there. Figure out some other way to do this. Uh, can this work? No. Do not use Salvation Gem on him. <laughs> it's... Uh, that was the word. If you use the Salvation Gem with the uh, Denim, by the way, he just dies and you get game over. So there's that. You know, just don't do that sort of thing. In general, kind of a bad idea. I must say that's just because uh, evacuating causes the game to think he's dead, and that's why you can't really mess with turning Denim into certain things. Or you have to do it in a really specific way. Like if you... apparently if you change his racial template or something like that, or one of those things, uh, the game just automatically thinks he's dead. So as soon as he starts talking, it's just like some random bush or whatever that's talking, and then at some point, the game just dies. Just because it's like, well, I don't have a protagonist, I can no longer continue. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Which, you know, I mean, I guess they wouldn't have put that in. Because why would they? Like, what do we do if somebody deletes the protagonist? Uh... I don't know? <laughs> game rip? You know, just generally not one of those things that's probably going to come up during meetings. Alright, he's just going to continue chilling down there. Can he not go up or something? Seems a little strange that he didn't attack Denim. But yeah. Definitely less devastating than he is in base game. Not base game, um, original game. Base game, these abilities will probably just be completely buffed out by whatever passive buffs everyone already had going on. Uh, no, he has jump too. I don't know why he didn't move. Odd. What an odd individual. I'm just back off, let him climb up here. <laughs> Some squishies to go after. There we go. That's a good gamp. Good job. Who's a good crazy beard man? He's a good crazy beard man. Hmm. I should check if Rakes responded to the request to make him into a shaman. Need to at Mr. Rakes. Mm, where's the little pointy arrow uppy dealy? There we go. I must at you. <laughs> uh, that must be annoying. I have to know if he can be an oracle. Also, yeah, found out uh, my car has a month to live. You don't hear that very often. But yeah, so, uh, took my rust bucket in earlier. And, uh, well, could have gone a little bit better. Uh, the thing was dumping gas, so I guess that, you know, that was less than ideal. But, um, but yeah, so I brought it in, was hoping to find out maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought. Like, oh yeah, no, I fixed the thing. It was like 60 bucks to fill to fix this filter that was causing it to leak, but uh, just so you know, there's like a friggin' axle or whatever that's about to snap off, and this car is just gonna be completely worthless if that happens. And that's like a $200 fix. I'm like, uh, I don't really have a spare 200 bucks right now. So, that was fun, you know, generally speaking. Uh, I was hoping to get a bind there, didn't get it. Hey, well. But, uh, yeah. Hopefully somebody wants to buy this thing. Cause, uh, not really sure what to do about that. I think finally reached the point with that car where it's just gotta go, cause I can't really afford to keep doing stuff with it. No! Dick, why is he so fast? Friggin' Sanic the Beard Man over here. Back here, Sanic the Beard Man. Mm. 
Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna need him to come back. Sanica's way over here. Yeah, uh, which one was healing him? Hello, Mr. Cleric. How would you like to be more concerned with your own safety? If I need, like, a few tiles here. There we are. Hmm, would have liked to crit there, but oh well. I just need more points. Because one heal will be enough to completely bring him back anyway. There's really no point in attacking him anymore until that healer's gone. You guys still got your fast move. No. I never trained them to do the fast move. Good job, idiot. Um, yeah, do that, I guess. Stroke. He's gonna do piss all against him, him, and him. Well, might as well do it against that guy. Then he can just run in there and get all stabby stabby like and maybe pin some folks to the ground. Okay, good. He's gonna go for a multi instead. <gasps> Holy sweet Jabus. I'm sorry. Got some. Texts from the wife here over some stuff for Ren. Oh my god, that that house is sexy. That, there's just no two ways about that. There's one sexy five bed. No, that is not the same guy from. Okay, last year when we were moving, there was um, this popular Craigslist scam going around of some guy claiming to be, oh, you know, I'm out of town. I need somebody to run my place and. You know, it was one of those, go ahead and send the money in and I'll friggin' make a drop point for the keys or something. And apparently a lot of people fell for that. Despite the fact it's like, okay, mysterious entity from another place wants to, you know, rent to you despite the fact that uh, you have no way to actually physically get the keys. Yeah, this seems legit. Um... But I mean, I guess 1400 a month seems legit. I go send him a message because that's that's a pretty nice deal. Uh, unfortunately, Gamp is going to continue being awkward here. Right, I guess we might as well have you run over here and drop a heal. So, uh, one other quick note here: I saw somebody mentioning on uh, NG Plus a little while ago. Like it seemed like the few runs that were going on of uh, OV were kind of just like blazing through it. And yeah, I mean, that's going to happen. You know, obviously, if somebody's going through uh, on their first try or something like that, they're going to have a much more difficult time. Now, there actually is a guy, uh, Mr. Cramhole there, uh, that's been going through, and he's going through his first time. He's going and seeing new stuff, all that sort of thing. Uh, basically, like, a lot of this stuff is going to be kind of second nature and blow through-y, as, as you will. And that's why I end up doing a lot of challenge runs and that sort of thing, because it's like, you know, kind of, kind of been doing runs of this game for almost a decade now. <laughs> so, I'm, you know, it's gonna come up. Um, and it, I'm pretty sure the other ones that have been doing it are doing that too. So, that comes up. I don't know. It just came up the other day. Just figured I'd mention it. Mention it with words. Um, there we go. What is that all about? What is going on out there? No idea. Something's going on outside. I wonder if it's another random person yelling at somebody. But yeah, no. Uh, in the city that we're in, it's uh, kind of preposterous to find any place to live at this point. 
Like, even though we've lived here for years and all that, it's absolutely disgusting. We're trying to find a bigger place because, you know, we've got a second one on the way now, and... You know, it's a whole thing, but oh my goodness. It gets, like, it's to the point where you can't even get a friggin' mortgage unless, you know, you've got, like, 15 grand down. We're going this year and, like, okay. You know, the credit is well above where it needs to be. You know, we've got, got the income thing going. We've got, like, 7,000 down. We've got assets. You know, this should be a shoe in and then go and apply for it. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's cute. <laughs> Like, we're just gonna go ahead and laugh at this. The friggin' seven thousand is nothing. Like, oh, would have been, would have been nice, but oh well. What can he do, right? Uh, I guess I don't really even want to have him bound there, do I? Also, I'm um, not sure what that was. It was. Just like a flash that came on the screen all of a sudden. Weird. Okay. You continue locking this guy down, I guess. I'm gonna be in a little bit of a stalemate here, because these guys can go around and mop up their rando damage all over the place, but... Gamp is awkwardly hiding in that corner. There's not a whole lot that can be done to, him to dislodge him at this point. Oh, if he went to that tile from before, he could be critted off of it. But these guys are just gonna slowly and awkwardly work their way down the mountain. Taking these guys out as they go along. trap him here and do this sort of thing, because ideally I'd like him up here, have her smack him back down again. That should be con pretty consistent. Alright, uh, she doesn't even need it. Just go ahead and wait. Mm. Go ahead and do a basic. Patch up your pants a little bit. Okay, so yeah, continuing on with the story there. Like, last year, it seemed like it was ridiculous already, because it's like friggin' 100k for a house that's completely falling apart. I'm like, oh, you know, surely it has to crash. It has to be going somewhere, and then this year comes along and you're like, no, prices went up by like 40 grand over the last year. I'm like, wow. <laughs> you, uh, you maybe want to stop growing so much at some point? It's uh, getting a little bit disgusting here. Like, it's gotten to the point where literally somebody went and bought a bunch of the cheap crap all over the place. Demolished said cheap crap, built even cheaper crap. Um, so there's just like a bunch of friggin' paper-thin wall houses. That, uh, yeah, you can go and oh, go and pay full price for. It'll pay like 140k for one of those. And, yeah. Good luck when that thing falls apart, because no one's gonna help. And apparently that's... Perfectly acceptable, because they're technically still standing right now. Uh, by the way, one weird quirk I'm noticing over and over. Um, whenever a unit is being healed repeatedly, and then, you know, the, the next turn they end up um, getting hit by something, if you keep repeating the same action, it seems like they take more and more damage from it for some reason. I don't know what that's all about. Like, if it's an, like an anti-laming feature or something. Like, it only seems to apply to some things, but... Kind of interesting that it works that way. Okay, that's not worth it. What if you hit him with this? Hmm. What if? Probably if you hit him with one of these, it would also disrupt it. It also wouldn't be blockable. Yeah, there we go. Be useful. Have some wine, friend. Oh, okay, just bounced off. I, I thought it would potentially heal him, or uh, potentially do what I wanted it to, but not such luck. Can you shield him? I can't. Man, Gamp, you are one awkward bastard, you know that? Zump? What the crap is Zumper? this thing's address? That's... 
Weird. The hell's a zumper? <laughs> Get a text along with the thing of houses and go check out a zumper. What the hell's a zumper? I don't know. I should go check it out. Huh? You say? No, this might end up being a part of its own. Actually, longer than the other part. Oh, you awkward bastard. Huh. Yeah, apparently it's some new rental site. Interesting. Alright, that guy's gonna keep going for himself. Okay, random note, by the way. Um... Friggin' Facebook Marketplace. Better than I ever would have figured. Gonna be doing a lot of good stuff out of there lately. I keep finding baby crap for really cheap and everything. There we go, finally. Checkmated you. He's gonna come back with crazy Oracle powers. I hope. Mr. Rakes, did you agree? Yes! Should be he, okay. It sounds like he's saying that there should be enough room, so I think we might have Gamp the the Oracle. Oh, that'd be pretty freaking sweet. Okay, now Cash was gonna go pull a complete traitor act here, as she does. She says, "All right, so she's gonna just go hang out over there." The rhyme is next. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and get that done. We'll put you this, well. But yeah, they both get betrayed. Then Vi shows up and they're like, oh yeah, no, I, I totally betrayed everyone. This is a good plan. <laughs> and what's funny is, like, he basically does this whole thing, starts this whole plan. Like, oh, you know, I already won the thing. Then this friggin' legend over here holds off five guys like nothing. The city gets attacked. <laughs> and yeah. Vice just screws up in every timeline. He cannot catch a break. Um, I'm gonna take the casters out of this one, I think. Actually, no. Take out the Dragoons. We're not really gonna need them much. Uh, let's put the, uh, the yellow couple in here. Let me take out Spencer and put Bess up here. That way we have the three Tyranites. Get them some experience. Um, place to Nalta with you. And I'd like a little bit more offense, so let's get another archer going. Because usually, if I recall this map correctly, the backline squishies are the problem. What are the meaning of this? And like, oh, yeah, no, we're, we're Definitely just gonna hold this city that we're barely holding against these guys that have already taken over it before. <laughs> yeah, now he mentions it, despite the fact that that strategy's been ongoing for a long time now. So yeah. Hiram's a bit of a toughie. Got a cleric over here to deal with. Got one over here too, I think. No? Nope. No, this is a single cleric map by the looks of it. Okay. Fair enough. I don't know why I still have him here. Did not mean to have Bay in here. Whale dang. Okay, hopefully should be just out of range to use his ability here. I'm gonna take a few snipes at him. So their first thing is just to harass the octopus there, and then afterwards I'm gonna have um, gonna have them go after the healer. Canopus goes up front. You go up front. Everyone goes up front. It's a fun time. By the way, the reason I call them the yellow couple here, uh, technically speaking, it's kind of implied that these two are just an awkward, nobody bothers to say anything couple. Like, Sestina's all about the whole war thing, and then Fulcrits are like, oh, swoon, and yeah, then nobody any ever ends up doing anything. Like, you know what? Screw it. 
Time to play matchmaker. Get them two together. Which you'd think would be more awkward considering last run it kind of seemed like Denim and Sestina were a couple, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Don't think about it too hard. Every run's its own timeline. Okay. This. Forward going. Yeah, I love that Warlocks are a little bit underpowered, but they've got so many tricks up their sleeve that they can just make up for it with all kinds of cool crap. Okay, uh, you need to major heal here. Do this sort of dealy. I guess you do that too, huh? Slice. Do handers actually do damage? See, I was doing that uh, base game run. And it's hilarious because no matter how much effort I put into uh, uh, put into the two-hander units, actually not sucking. It's it's such a long road for them. <laughs> like even Gildas has a hard time staying up, which honestly needs better phrasing. But still, it's just really funny to see. Because then you get the one-hander ones coming out and surviving everything like nothing and putting out damage like nothing, and the the two-handers go in like. Uh... My thing is made of tinfoil, I can't do anything with it. So yeah, it takes a lot to get them going. I mean, I guess arguably they have a higher max hit, is what they were going for. But man. I don't know. I feel like there's a little bit of a bias that they had against certain things. That seems to come up over and over again. It's like, I feel like, uh, what's his face? Why can't I remember his name? It, the, um... Why do I keep thinking friggin' Miyazaki? It's definitely not him. Uh, the, you know, the guy that made all these, pretty much, or the creative mind behind them. Mitsuno, there, that's his name. Um, I don't know, he, it's like, the guy really, really, really just has a hard-on for bows, and... Eh, I mean, they're cool, it's just... Every, uh... How do I think about it? Most of the ones that I've seen that he's involved in seem to have potentially really overpowered bows, but it completely depended. Like, I remember the single class challenge of FFT. Like, archers may have not been fantastic compared to some of the other ones, but that was one of the easiest uh, single class challenges for that one. Like, you basically just went through the entire thing, just charge shotting everything before it got close. Archie, oh, sorry, I'm not time. There it goes, Bayon. Could be a little bit of a problem, actually. Um, but yeah, no. Um, the archers and uh, and snipers in FFTA and FFTA2 were pretty crazy strong. The archers in this are just grossly overpowered. And I think it's... I don't know. I did not mean to do that. But there was um, a lot of discussion I had seen on, you know, whether... It, just how Asian cultures view arrows and that sort of thing. And I don't know, I, I wonder if there's any credence to the whole thing where there's a thought that arrows were a lot more, uh, seemed a lot more effective in, on an Asian uh, context because of different designs and whatnot. Although I do recall reading about, about there even being a phase in like a lot of uh, Japanese warfare there. Just kind of like a phase during the fight that was just referred to as armor testing that was literally just everyone fired all their arrows at the other guys and if they got something great otherwise everybody's just sitting there waiting to get hit a bunch and um you know then they would just go forward and go at each other and that sort of thing uh, i kind of lost my train of thought there but point being you know they also seem to have armor that was effective against arrows so i don't see why they would why they would view them as being particularly effective or something. Um, who knows? Probably not... a broad cultural thing. You know what? Uh, what can you deal with here? Ideally, I'd like them to deal with her, but... I don't know if they can all line up for that. But you have just enough range. Unfortunately, they really kind of tore apart the front line here. 
Vayne wasn't part of it, but, you know, you know what I mean. The thing with the unpleasantness happened. Okay, so healer goes away. Uh, yeah, archer's moving before they can get a heal off. Nope, this is actually going to go over here. I hmm, was hoping for a crit. Uh, no such luck. Ah, oh, you suck. Okay. Hopefully. Now oh, this next one has a tremendous in him. Sure enough, she does. Oh. Apparently we have gone to the animal fair. We have gone to the animal fair several times, in fact. There we go. Goodbye. Now everybody should just be able to lay a smack down on that one guy. Okay, I want these guys to get TPs. Actually, no, they don't even have rank 2 yet. Wonderful! I'm screwing this up entirely. Oh, hi, you. And it sounds like it's time to cut this thing. Alright. 